Jules, what do you think about a plastic surgeon of the dark web? What, what comes to your mind when you think about that? Uh, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Except some people like it. Let's talk about American <laughs> Mary. 2012. This is a classic and this is a very unique movie. It is a awesome revenge movie. I think y'all can tell she really <clears throat> enjoys it. If you've seen I Spit on Your Grave. Oh my gosh. So like, you know I... how that revenge in there? Oh, okay. This one, it probably goes to, it, it does go to another level. Okay. And it will blow your mind because when I first seen this movie, I think I accidentally stumbled upon it. You know, like on Tubi, I find hidden gems sometimes. And I seen this and I was like, what in the actual and I've watched it like three other times since then. Oh <laughs> Let's talk about American Mary, what it's about. This after is, this after is we talk one. about this, we're going to talk about something else. Getting some help. <laughs> okay, American Mary is rated R. It's an hour and 43 minutes long. Mm -hmm. It was written and directed by Jen and Women. Sylvia Soska. Women. And they're also acting in this as mm -hmm. twins. They're in twins. a scene, yep. Mm -hmm. There, there are two of the, and I had no idea for a while that these were women that um, did this. So whenever we have women directors and stuff on good movies or whatnot, and there's so many, we want to recognize them. Yes. We want people to know them. So when you see them somewhere else or something else, you're going to know, oh, this is about to be good. Did they're, you they're talk creative. about them at the Phoenix Spirit Con? Um, we did not, no. So you need to. But you know, maybe that's, I got to see what our theme is going to be this year, but yes. Yeah, maybe y'all can get them to mm -hmm. come out. Ooh. So this stars Ooh. Catherine Isabel as Mary Mason. She's mm -hmm. the lead. You remember her from Ginger, Ginger Snaps. Snaps. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Antonio Cupo plays Billy Barker. Mm -hmm. Tristan Risk is Beatrice Johnson. She was the one that creeped me out first. So when you see this movie, actually, this is a class that we'll talk about a few yeah, things in here. She looks like Betty Boop. And it looks like somebody took 500 cc's of Botox and stuck it in her face. So she just kind of talks like this and nothing moves. It's just kind of like a porcelain dome because her face is all made up from plastic surgery. Plus she's talking like Betty Boop or Johnson. <laughs> she is, and then just looking at her face is so bizarre because I kept saying, I wonder is that prosthetics or what it is that they use? And I think you said they took two hours to use those prosthetics on her face. Mm -hmm. And it was a great, I mean, a great look for this movie. Just really creepy, like, Super oh my creepy. God. Like, the, the, uh, were you aiming to look like Betty Boop? Nothing moved in her face. Yeah. That would be a cool Halloween costume, like wouldn't her? it? Yeah. It'd be creepy. Mm, okay. David Lovegren plays Dr. Grant. Mm, mm. <laughs> Paula mm. Lindbergh plays Ruby Real Girl. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, when, you, when we tell you a few things here, you're going to see why we're laughing. It, ain't, it really ain't funny. It's actually kind of creepy and bizarre, but okay. Clay St. Thomas plays Dr. Walsh. John Emmett Tracy plays Detective Dolar. And then Sylvia Soska is twin one and Jen Soska is twin two. Okay, so what's American Mary about? Because well, this is a three. Okay, from the Soska Twins, aka mm -hmm. Twisted Twins Productions. I like that name for them. Yeah, this is their own summary. The allure of easy money sends Mary Mason, a medical student, into the world of underground surgeries, which ends up leaving more marks on her than her so-called freakish clients. Mm -hmm. So what kind of goes on in here is, so she's a medical student, you know, mm -hmm. she's wanting to be a surgeon, doctor, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, you, as, as a student, you admire your professors and your, you know, the people who are training you because these guys have been doctors and whatnot and, you know, in the field for 20 years or whatnot. So, uh, she gets invited to a party and she's thinking, oh my gosh, this is so cool. You know, they recognize me. They know my name. I'm going to go to this party, except these dudes, these doctors, yes. they had a whole thing going on. They're rapists. Yeah. They would drug the women, rape them, and videotape it. Yeah. These are doctors. Now, whenever they invited somebody, everybody knew yeah. what was except her yeah. and, and the women. Yeah. They didn't know this, but these doctors had this whole thing going on. So, you know what? It's time for some revenge because yeah. they've been getting away with it. They picked the wrong biatch this time. I'm t they picked the wrong one, and what happens? Yeah, and she accidentally. So when we talk about when you, in the in the summary that she gets pulled in to making this money, like she was broke, she had her, you know, about to get kicked out of her place. She ain't got no money. She's a she's a medical student. Yeah, she kind of gets roped in accidentally into doing a procedure for this gangster guy. Totally yeah. accidental. Yeah, I mean, it totally freaked her out. She was like, "Ain't no way it H I'm ever getting into this again." But when they said that money, the money they were paying her, she was like, "Okay." 
I'll do a little bit, but listen, I ain't, cause, you know, this, this money she about to get is about to clear her up. She's about to be straight. Yeah, take her out of debt. Th- yep. Then, you know, she gets raped and she starts just getting, they're giving her name. Well, I gave my friend your name. Don't worry about it. But here's what she wants done. And she's like, what? Yeah. Hold she on, does the thing thing for the bad guy. And, no. and then somebody else gets her name because they're like, if we saw how you helped yeah. this bad guy. And is it okay if you help my friend and we'll pay you X amount of dollars to get you out of debt? And we ain't talking like five grand. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're talking she's doing these body modifications and they are insanely yeah. bizarre. Yeah. So, so we just told you what Beatrice is. She's the whole Betty Boop face. Yeah. And then Beatrice uh, actually tells her, you know, here's one of my friends, you know. I, I need you to do this for her. I promise you I'm going to give you some it. money. Even if you don't do it, just come and show. Because nobody else is going to do this weird. This is body modification to the extreme. Oh, my goodness. This lady, this lady, first of all, she already looks like some kind of pop-up doll. I don't even know. Pop-up Barbie. doll. Looks, yeah. yeah Barbie, right? Yes. So she decides. Now, mind you, she's got all these boobs and everything done. And she decides... I don't want to be sexualized anymore. Mm-hmm. I want you to go down and sew up the kitten. She wants the full Barbie. <coughs> okay. She wants Barbie, the kitten. Barbie sew. doesn't have anything down there. Yeah. She doesn't want anything. She down did there. say that because she said dolls aren't sexualized, and that's how I want to be. I don't want to be sexualized. So she had her. We don't even want to get into the details of how that would ever, if that was possible. But anyway, she did that, right? Of course, no doctors didn't, you know, wanted to do that. No, because it's not really, and I don't even know if any doctor would. Do that the here. The closest I thing I can think of is in what's it, Africa, where some young they girls mutilate, they, they, mutilate, they them. mutilate them. They mutilate them. So these are um, but things she that people just wanted it closed go. up. Yeah, these are. This is st- uh, she, didn't she have her areolas like, removed you, too? Because she yeah. wanted it all to just be bare like a doll. Yeah. So she starts doing these insanely bizarre. I mean, the other girl, the twins come to her. Now she's making all this money. Now people are, you know, getting her name out there. Now the detective is like, she's on a website. Yeah. Oh. And then they go in and they say, we're so, these, these twins were freaking weird beyond yeah. belief. I mean, they were kind of like freaky towards each other. They look kind of uh, incestuous, uh, incestuous. Anywho, they go in and they say, well, we want you because we love each other so much. And we always want to be together. We want you to switch our arms, take my arm and put it on hers, take her arm and put it on mine. And you're like, what the? F-? Yeah. What? Yeah, Mary does it. Mary does it. She's got this underground clinic, you know, that she's also posing as kind of like a, was like a tattoo yeah, shop or something. Yeah, she's making enough money that she could yeah. buy her own equipment and set herself up. She got a place and she set her equipment up. And, and she set it up so when the, somebody knocks on the door, she, she's turning she doors and stuff around. And yeah. mind you, she's paid at this point. So she's getting all these insanely bizarre. And in the casting, we got uh, real people, right, that had these body modifications that are actually in the movie. And some of the stuff you're going to see, I mean, besides what she did, some of the stuff you see, I had never even crossed my mind. But my question is, my mind. she got her hoo-ha <laughs> locked up. How she pee? But the, the urine How doesn't she... come from where she got soaked up. <laughs> see what do we mean? Yeah, but There's I, so I, many I questions she... that, no, I think she just sold up that because she like the front part or something? You still have to be able to pee. Your pee does not come from Because your... that's why I wonder what the... <laughs> But it comes it's from here, really and I'm thinking shirt. she's locked it all up to the tutor. So I, yeah, I don't know. Rudy to the tutor. <laughs> no, she, she can still urinate. I thought she sold it from the Rudy to the tutor. Okay, she can. Still, you know, I'm put it out. Well, but then so anyway, she has the, the detective is coming around, right? Because they're talking Rudy about these doctors is missing. These people are missing, and we we kind of think you might know because now the detectives she doesn't know they've watched some of these tapes however found out they've, they've seen some of these tapes of women that they're raping so they're going around wondering and they keep going at her because they're like something about her just saying you so know they're right. clicking and one of the doctors is missing Ooh, when you see this is something i'm not going to tell you because it's just so dang on good i have never i think this is probably definitely in the top three best revenge plots that i have ever seen um i'm going to probably put it at number one and i'm going to put I spit on your grave at number two just for the stuff that she did to this man. I Have could not. Have seen I spit on your grave? No. Boo. <laughs> she gave me some ideas. That's the original, all I'm saying. When we're talking about I spit on your grave, we're talking about the original. Um, not the original, about... original, because there was one that was made a long, long time ago, and then they kind of started. Both. I saw the one that was made like Bo- early 80s or late okay, 70s or whatever. Okay, so not that. that there, that's the original one, and yeah. then you've seen the newer one. Yeah. There's two more after that. Don't watch the other two. Please don't. It'll it'll make you mad, okay? But the first one, how she got revenge on them. But this one, honey, like I said, when we say she is a surgeon of the dark web, when she got her revenge, 
woo we. Yeah. I like one. I think I'm gonna make a meme for that for, for something that should happen to people that commit rapes. And he got every ounce of what it is, and she didn't make it quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I want you to see this so bad. Please go pop American Mary. And I think I want to say it was on Tubi when I pulled it up. So it's free. But even if you rent it for two ninety nine or whatnot, you're not going to regret it. This movie is so unique, and I didn't know these sisters have done other stuff. So now I need to go make sure I watch. Uh, I'm gonna pull them up and go see some other stuff that they've done. They've done. They filmed this in what? This was like shot really fast. Days. Wow. And Catherine Isabel went to medical school to research her role as Mary. There you go, girl. Mm -hmm. that All was, the mm -hmm. special effects were done practically. Mm -hmm. And Billy Barker was named in tribute of Clive Barker. Sweet, 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 mm -hmm. pretty. The majority, I think you already said this, of Mary's patients in the mm -hmm. films were members of, of the real life body modification community. Mm -hmm. And you'll see towards the end, um, You'll see real people coming in, showing you their modif real modifications, you know, you know, the guy with the split tongue and all kind of different stuff. So make sure you watch it through to the end. Yeah. Okay. You got some more facts? The character of Mary Mason was written for Catherine Isabel. For her um, yeah, in the, mind. The Suska sisters met her when they were extras on Josie and the Pussycats, which came out in Gosh, 2001. I forgot about that movie. Wasn't Rosario Dawson in that? I believe so. Yeah, right? she was. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. Trisk and Riss. Tristan Risk Beatrice. and Paula, yeah, Paula Lindbergh's <laughs> facial prosthetic makeup took two hours to apply. Yep. That's not too bad, though. Mm -mm. That's not too bad at all for that prosthetic. And they did a great job. I mean, like, wow. Yeah. And okay. Catherine Isabel would later work again with the Soska sisters on See No Evil 2 in 2014. I'm watching. The okay. film was released through Lionsgate and was the Soska's first studio film. Get it, girl. So that's theirs. And on June, uh, sorry, on the 18th, June 2020, Jen Soska and Sylvia Soska said in response to a comment on Twitter that American Mary is basically a horror legally blind. <laughs> I just like to call it a, a doctor show from the dark web. That's, a, that's all I think about when I watch it. I actually love this movie. I love this movie. I thought it was kind of creepy. It was very creepy I, and weird. It was very it was, bizarre. It was interesting. I mm -hmm. found it very interesting. Yeah. But it's creepy. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to watch it like you know, <laughs> time you did, but... But it's fine. I didn't like get sick or have nightmares. No, none of that. No, none but it's that. it's some interesting stuff in yeah. this in this movie. And that's pretty cool that she went and studied the medical uh, part of it. Yeah, and she did a good job. Now the movie will that makes me think of Human Centipede, where they kind of sold the mouth to the yeah. Anus. They, well, they try to put like actual medical things into it to make it seem like a it little really, bit like is it yeah. possible? Right. And right, I think right. they said that. I mean. You can do it, but they wouldn't live because right. what they no. what their theory was in human centipede is that you feed the person in front, yeah, and, and then, then they, they excrete, yeah, and then the, the and that that person gets the nutrients, and then they poop, and then that person, gets it. yeah, like, and no. it was like, yeah, I don't think that you could sew them, but that's I don't think uh, when I read that, cause, you know, I love human centipede. It's not medically possible. They would all have died. Yeah, <laughs> especially from they probably would have died from infection if anything yeah. else because they couldn't throw up. No, so you had to. Mm, see human centipede too. I think maybe I might review that. <laughs> and if they did, they would go into the other person's <laughs> rectum. Anyway, this one is a great watch. It's free. Go ahead and pull it up on Tubi. I'm going to go pull up uh, both these sisters and I want to see some more stuff from them. As a matter of fact, the next time if we ever do um, at the Phoenix Fearcon, I do phoenixfearcon.com, do some hosting sometimes. And um, we have guests and I'm going to talk to Chris and ask her, yes, we should try to see about, oh, they would do a great panel. This will be a fantastic panel to talk yeah. to them. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Tell her. Yes. All right. Well, so, there you go. Thank you for watching our review of American Mary. Mary. Go out and see it. Or you don't have to oh, go out. Stay at home, home and see it. <laughs> stay at home. See it. See it on your phone. Whatever. That's right. <laughs> now we, um, you can see us. Check us out. Facebook, YouTube. Instagram. Keep in mind though, if you're watching Instagram, sometimes they cut us off at 15 minutes. At 15 minutes. So if for some reason we have something that's a little longer yeah. and we're getting deep into it, we yeah. recommend check us out on YouTube. Pull yeah. Us up on, or even or Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can pull us up there and we want to make sure you see the whole review in case we got some tips. And or like tricks. and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like and subscribe. So we're on Facebook, yep. um, YouTube, Instagram. We're on Cash App. Yes. Um, we are also on the Phoenix Fearcon Network. So go to Connect to Your City, click on the Fearcon tab, and you'll see all of our horror and thrillers there. We take yeah. requests. We don't care what genre it's from. So Talk this, to us. this review right yes. here is going to be on there. Yep, on the Fearcon. <laughs> yep.
So thank you very much for tuning in to our classic American Mary, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.